as mentioned in, the, in our, our blog post on this, we, uh, we're now at the point with Drop One where we have a network. Um, now, it's definitely not feature complete or anything close to that, but the point with, with these drops is that we wanted to separate our work towards RPN1 uh, into, into chunks of functionality where we could actually bring up some kind of network, do some tests, feel good about that, and then move on to more stuff. So uh, in Drop One, we are focused on core consensus because that's the, the, the most important thing. It's the most complex thing we have to worry about, and we, we really want to make sure that's working right. So uh, the cool thing is we actually have a working consensus network um, that we can demonstrate for you today. So I'm going to turn it over to Josh, and he's going to do a screen share and show you how, uh, how we do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, run a three-node network. Um, now, this will be running in uh, uh, Docker containers. So these will be three different processes running. Now that all three have been created, um, they'll start to message each other. So, so this uh, one, we're bringing up fixed networks. We're just sort of, we've got a, a, a fixed number of nodes that we bring up all at once, and then they just sit there and, and, uh, and talk to each other to conduct consensus. So, oh yeah, there we go. Now it looks like it's, we've got it running. Yeah. Um, if you can, you know, super fast reading, um, um, these nodes are, um, constantly sending messages to each other, implementing the BFT protocol. Um, and you can see that the, uh, over time, the view numbers of each node is increasing. And that's basically it means to say that they're uh, progressing. Uh, currently, there are no transactions being sent um, through this network. And so um, really all they're agreeing to are, all they're agreeing to are uh, blank nodes. This is, this is kind of like empty blocks on a blockchain. So the view number is sort of like your block number. It's a, just a, an ordering of what's happened. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Um, All right. So, so let's, uh, let's, let's push some stuff into the network. Right. Uh, so I've got here, I've pre-prepared here is a uh, explorer, which hooks up to one of the nodes um, in Docker. And so this will be able to show you um, basically you know, what's going on at the atom level, how many transactions are being sent um, through the network. And what I'm going to do now is run um, one of our regression tests um, through this network. Um, so basically a high level view, our regression test it just sends different types of transactions through the network to um, get a broad base of um, different client side interactions. Um, with a network. So let's get that running. So this Explorer, this is an early version of, uh, this is something that obviously we're going to be providing to the community as a, you know, the, the typical Explorer. So we can, you can see network activity and look at transactions, but we've got a, a very early version of that running that we're using for our own testing like this. So we can, we can watch network activity. So this will be kind of a cool way of of showing you guys what's going on on our little three node test network. Um, now we're about to be sending these atoms to the network. You can see already um, that our Explorer here um, has increased its uh, stored number. These are the number of atoms and storing is basically things that are in the pipeline of getting eventually stored. Um, and then here to the right, you can see the um, throughput over time um, so depending on what uh, the regression test is doing at a particular time, um, this will go up and down. And obviously we're not pushing a real high rate of transactions per second, but we're kind of not trying to, we're not trying to push it right now. We're just trying to see the thing functional. Right. Yeah, we're just doing, yeah, we're up to like 20 some transactions. <laughs> All right. And a strong 0.6 transactions per second. That's all anybody ever needs. <laughs> okay. okay, so now that we've got a functional network, um, the other thing we can show is uh, we've, we've connected the, the Radix wallet up. And again, that's not finished. We're still working on, on, uh, on this, but we've got an early version of the wallet that we can connect up to this network and, and uh, show sort of a, a user level of, of doing some transactions. So I'm gonna do first is stop that from running. They got so many, so many things already running on the computer. Um, 
And here we've got a wallet. Um, this wallet, this is the desktop wallet. Um, this is also um, connected to one of the nodes running Docker. Um, and you can see currently I have a balance of zero. Um, but I wanna, I wanna put some tokens in here. So I'm gonna get my address for this wallet. Um, and then what you do is um, use the Java library um, to create a token, um, calling it uh, Josh. And I'll be creating a million of these and sending a, um, let's give myself a thousand. Sending a thousand of these um, to the wallet. Um, and it should, when I press run, it should go through this code, execute this code on the network. The network should then um, tell my uh, desktop wallet that I received um, 1,000 Joshes. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Um, it's going through. It's been stored. And let's see if it's gone to my wallet. There it is. Um, so if I go to Josh, you can see I received 1,000 Joshes um, into, um, into this wallet. Um, let's let's try something else. Uh, let's try sending some NAT tokens. Um, except this time, I'll only send myself. Let's go 99, just for fun. Um, so this is running, and it's stored. Let's go check back at our wallet. Oh, there it is. NAT 999. Um, tokens from Matt. Um, now let's try this. I want to send some back to actually um, this wallet, which sent me um, 9,999 mats. I'm going to send mats um, back. Um, so the yeah, address for this is actually printed out up top here. So I'm going to copy that. Send to that wallet. So Matt, I'm gonna send, let's do 500. And send that through. And you can see that um, this wallet was able to receive that 500. And let's go back here. Nope. And we also lost 500 as well. So we're now down to 9499. Cool. All right. So I think that's, I mean, like I said, this is a very, very early version of the network. Um, we've got a lot of work to do from here. Uh, we got to get civil protection in. we got to do uh, a network where we can add and, and remove nodes. Um, there's a bunch of different things that we're going to be working on over the coming, coming months. But um, I hope it was exciting to, to see a, the, the first functional version of, of what we're working towards for RPN1. Um, we're certainly really excited about this. It's always kind of cool to see functional code and seeing uh, something that, that you can actually push some transactions through. We're going to be actually doing a little bit of, of internal dog fooding, trying to make use of a network based on this code that we're going to be bringing up just to, uh, to, to beat it up a little bit. Um, so anyway, um, thanks guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. See you guys.